is red right now. It wasn't very long. She just, you know, it was like a, like a few seconds and then she towed herself off. I am really sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't know that she was going to take a shower and it'd be graphic. Because last time with the dude, his thing a was covered and whatever. I just wish that, uh, what's it called? Like if it was if this was a video, I could have censored that because I can do that. I'd probably find like something funny, like I don't know, maybe my profile picture in the top right. <sighs> I mean, technically, it's not considered nudity. I mean, like it is nudity, but like. Did you know that it's not considered indecent exposure unless it's from below the waist? So a woman could technically go out without a top on and it wouldn't be, uh, she would be just fine. At least I think that's what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like, okay, so what were we, we're doing like 11 minutes? So this is going to be like, like 50 minutes. I hope YouTube doesn't take that down. You know what? If YouTube takes down that uh, archived stream, that archived stream, we basically got this uh, got done with this fight. Uh, we we went to this general store asking for clues about the origami killer, and after that, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? This guy broke in. I almost reasoned with him to. Uh, uh, to put the gun down because he's robbing the store. We found a box of origami after the guy thanked us for stopping the crime. And then we woke up with this chick. And then she, it's like 2 in the morning. Uh, if, you, if you've if you seen the other one, if like if, this is all if YouTube takes it down, by the way. Because like, they're stingy on this. At least I think they are. <laughs> but then again, who am I? But... Again, my friend has like a hundred subscribers, and when he used copyright music, it got t taken down. So I just don't want to take any chances. If this is like the catch up, work out those calves. All right, what am I supposed to do? Oh, fridge. Ah, <gasps> an open fridge. I didn't leave that open. But yeah, after uh, we woke up, uh, it was like almost two inches of rain, like one and a half inches of rain, and such. Wait, was that over here? It was. I just can't say it enough. I'm so sorry that happened. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. And they might have saw me take a shower. On the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. What am I supposed to do? <gasps> Why is it locked? <laughs> Come on. Ugh. Now I have to get the phone. See, the sensible thing to do in the situation is get out and then call for help. There are multiple people here? What the hell, man? I almost didn't know what button that was. I almost got scared about what button that was. Oh! Tap, 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 tap. Tap it for your life! Ooh. Ooh. Hey, don't abuse me. I ain't that kind of girl, man. Hey, get off of me. I pressed the button, by the way. I pressed it once and it didn't work. I pressed it again. Jesus Christ. This girl is strong. Neighbors, call for help. I know she has neighbors. <gasps> no. Oh! I got slapped! 
Oh! Ah! Hey! What's up with the beds? Hey! Why is this so sexual all of a sudden? Or at, least that's, or at least that's how I'm seeing it, because it really does seem like that. Ow! What's up with the sniping? If you're gonna hurt me, just punch me! You don't have to slap me! Oh. Cause like... I'm bleeding! What the f... Flip! <gasps> oh my god, that was all a dream. <laughs> it was all the dream! It was all the dream. Wow, wow, wow. You, uh, you have unlocked a new bonus. This is a robot speaking. <sighs> Jesus, I'm tired. Oh, we're playing again. Oh, mama, wait. I can't imagine what he's going through right now. But you know what? If I were, if uh, I was his wife, I would not like. I'd be there with him, because it's like a tragedy. Like he wants someone there, and if you have no one, then that just makes it all the sadder. When the or parents the came sad. home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Is this a church related thing? Hmm. Hmm. I'm putting on my detective glasses, you know, those cool FBI stuff. FBI glasses. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Uh, it's your house, dude. Just leave. This is a house. This is like one of those, like, ghetto neighborhoods where, like, all the houses seem like apartments and they're all, like, really close to each other. And then there's city all around them. The reason why it's ghetto is because with the streets, there is the crime. Why are you... Are you locked in your own house or something? Why do you... I have many questions. Why don't you just leave out the, the front door? I don't... I, I honestly don't get it. What's so hard? But then again, why didn't I go and check with the... Uh... I get it. I have to go this way. I couldn't go any further past that uh little Mr. Mars, can you confirm Mr. Mars. Did your Mr. Son Mars. Disappear? Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son you has disappeared? Your son is still alive? What's up with the goddamn press? So in a way he was kind of trapped in his own house. By the media. Dun dun dun. Keep going, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, guys, I do have to say that, uh, the new. I've been playing. Uh, I have been playing uh, the new Fortnite update, 
This should be going up later today. Also, another thing is uh, I'm going camping soon. What day is it? Sorry about that. I thought I could check the date from the little pull-up screen. It's Thursday. I'm going to leave tomorrow. So this is... I think I can pull up, like, a video. I'm going to post, uh, like, my thoughts. Uh, what was it? Sorry, I'm just kind of spacing out. I'm going to post a video on Fortnite tomorrow about uh, visiting one of the named locations and, like, my thoughts on the Battle Pass. It's going to be pretty short, but it's pretty basic. And then uh, I'm going to have some more footage of, like, the other areas. Ooh. Sorry. Uh, that's all I, I really wanted to say because I feel like I have to scream right now. It's very loud in my headphones, and I don't know how it's going to come out. Gonna, gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. Oh, his son. Would it be better if I sat over here? He's developed some sort of anxiety. Too many people. Too many people. Dude, pull yourself together. Dude. Dude, what's going on? Talk to me. Everything's in slow-mo. Is that that or he can stop time? Does he have superpowers? <laughs> no. No. What is this game? What is this game? Dad, where are you? Jason! 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 Let me just. <laughs> I'm such a dick. <laughs> Jason. Ah. Jason. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. I had to find my son. Excuse me. Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jason. What the hell is this game? <laughs> Jason! Jason! Uh, that was a weird camera angle. Why is it such a weird camera angle? <laughs> this is so funny. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was all in his head. Yeah, leave me to my own affairs. Luggage lockers. Done it. Done it. Line eighteen, box number three. So that's what that means. Line eighteen, box number three. Oh, eighteen, eighteen. Gonna be over here? No, 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 it's gonna be down here, isn't it? Okay, yeah, the numbers are getting higher. 18! Just passed it. Uh, three.
Come on. <coughs> a box. So this guy works out of the transit station boxes stuff. They're in New York. No, 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 no. They're in Seattle. They're in Seattle. Because uh, the guy mentioned that they're in Seattle. So this takes place in Seattle. Two games I own that take place in Seattle. And I don't know what is that the metro. I I I actually have never been to the metro station. If your metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Hey, great job. I just, uh, Lucky Locker, that's a trophy I just got. Again, I don't have a capture card, so you guys are just seeing the gameplay. Wow, this is a crappy motel. I'm gonna take a piss. Zzz. Uh, all right. Oh, I didn't want to do that one. There we go. Medicine. Who left their medicine in here? I hate it when people don't roll up their sleeves before doing that. Because water always gets, like, on the outside of the sleeve. It's so, it's so annoying. Like, I stopped doing it just because of how annoying it is to, like, do that. Or, like, have that happen to me. It's like, it's just kind of, like, around your wrist and it's just all damp and, ugh, it doesn't feel good. The same, like, the same with, like, uh, like old habits, but, like, I used to chew on uh, the collar of my shirt, or whatever that was, a collar shirt, a t-shirt, whatever, and every time it would just be like a hanging on my neck, damn. Disappeared from the Stanton district yesterday evening. He was Stanton. Seen playing in the park with his father. Full details are unknown. But following the disappearance of Jeremy Bowles, there is suspicion that this again may be are, are we in New York? If confirmed, it will bring them I, I'm actually very confused. It's either New York or Washington. Because he said Staten. Or it's like Staten. I don't know. I think it's Washington. I'm just going to go with Washington for now until I see otherwise. I wonder what year this takes place. This stuff seems a lot like fancy for like cheap stuff. Sorry that or you know, Washington has great architecture. Which we do. Jason <laughs> I love that so much. I don't want to hear this. Good idea. If I if I'm if I'm warm I'll take off my jacket. If I'm still warm I'll take off my shirt. If I'm still warm I will take off my Shoes, and socks, then pants, then underwear, and then I'll open the door, and then, you know, you should probably give that to the police, so stop messing with it. Your fingerprints are all over that, I'm just gonna have a hard time believing you. Oh, that's like the same model gun that we saw in the store. <gasps> Is it loaded? I couldn't tell. I didn't see any bullets. Oh, we're a gammy. Why does this guy... My question is, is that like, uh, from last game, the detective, why was he looking up origami shops when the guy could have... You are prepared to to show your curse to your son, Joe's garage report. Oh. That's that's the note. I thought that was on those. 
Um, I forget what I was saying. This guy's very, like, organized. Help! Dad! Sean. Where are you? I'm so cold. Dad! Dad! I will go far, but not, like, cr I mean... Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal a address. So we're doing his dirty work. Ay, ay, ay. What the hell? Put it under the bed. It's in your name, right? The hotel, I mean. Or motel. There's a clear difference between a hotel and a motel. And that is a motel. Open spaces. And you have to walk outside to get to your room. And a hotel is like an inside. It's, it's weird. I can't really describe it. I have also unlocked a new bonus. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts, to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. Th that may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Hold on. Earlier, we saw uh, in the video, like if, like the last thing, we saw Sean, Ethan's son, in uh, what's it called that rainwater tank, that 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 gated whatever. That's terrible. The water just slowly pours in and in and in, and then they die. That's terrible. Ah, uh, damn it! We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere. We got to get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? 
Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's I thought that was calm. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Oh. Cause every like so f so hours or so, it's like it slowly gets up. It was like, well, it's almost two inches now, and we only need six. That's awful. Come on. So awkward. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Jesus Christ, there man. Is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Oh, wait. I am one. Asshole. You just totally effed up the locks, too. Like, you just majorly screwed the locks. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. Because the way that that... Because the way that uh, that... God fear an idiot waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twist. He is religious. I mean, like, aside from everything else, he's just like... Jesus. I personally have... The walls are covered by writing. Quotations from the Bible. I personally have a very religious family. But not to this magnitude. This is over the top. It's gonna be in his bathroom. Uh, well, I mean candles. Yep, it's in his bathroom. You can see over the toilet. At least I think that's writing. <sighs> Have you guys seen that one episode of Family Guy where Lois and Peter are, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, find this kid, right? Scotty, I think his name was, the baby, Stewie's friend, and what ended up happening was, um, Jesus Christ, do you just buy new dishes every time you eat food? That's very expensive and inefficient. Also, uh, like, uh, where he has cancer and his parents are, like, Christian scientists, so basically they don't offer, like, he, like the kid has cancer, and they don't offer treatment. Like, they don't give him treatment because it's not like, you know, with the thing. And then she said, you know, what if all these different medicines and other types of stuff is the answer from God and all this Candles sort of are still lit. He should be back soon. Of course, because, you know, like, that's a fire hazard and, you know, like, he wouldn't really want to burn down his apartment full of all this religious painting, crosses and such. I thought that was wallpaper. That those are crosses, each and every one of those. He must have inherited money or something. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Hey. The ministers of Grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Uh. Occupation. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Just tell us your goddamn job. Nathaniel. Do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. 
No, I was alone. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Well, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. I'm very confused right now. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. Blake, what are you doing? He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? That's enough. He needs Leave more him alone. And more. Hey, I will not hesitate to fight you. No, you mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. Carter, you told you to go shit. and find that kid you in the park. Your mind? The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough. So I'm you spamming X. To make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Ugh. They're also hanging on the ceiling. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I shall dispatch you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! There's a better way. Uh. Reassure. Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Calm down. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Enough, Nathaniel. Put the gun down immediately. He pulled a gun. I. I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. As much as I hate that prick. No, whatever. I don't want him to die. Yes, 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 reminder, unfold, I'm moving slowly, blah, blah, blah. Am I that, am I that other? I'm getting a very good close up on that one private detective face. And I'm gonna play as him, aren't I? I am. This game is, um, this game is, uh, what's it called? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. You know, while we're playing as multiple different characters, I think what I'm going to, oh, there's a baby. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you, uh, well, well, what's that one? I'm going to be Sean. Or not Sean, I want to be Ethan, and I want to do everything in my power to save my son. And because of the cops, I'm going to let him off easy if he does no anything answer. illegal. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. Ah. Asthma free for the moment and loving it. Good old inhaler in my pocket, just in case. Oh. Baby screaming and no answers? Don't like the look of this. I totally forgot you can go in your head. Susan Bowles, mother of the origami killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Can I... Can I... I can't... God... Move, you fat ass! K. 
can't, like, kick down the door or anything. There's a screaming baby inside. That's, like... That's abuse. Well, like... Not, like, abuse abuse. Like, I'm smacking across the face abuse. But, like... Abuse in its own way. I could barely move him back there. That was, like, annoying. Back door is open. Hey, where's your papa? Not your dad. I mean your bottle. I'll go in the kitchen and look for it. Do, 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 do. There's a note. Mrs. Balls. Anybody home? No. Oh. Why can't she not handle it anymore? Assorted cookies? Why assorted cookies? Hello, little cutie. Who? Oh, you looking for your mama? Get her something to eat. I'm gonna check the bedroom. I think she just abandoned her child because she doesn't want to like be close Mr. Bowles. To Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. No, you fiend. Oh shit. Holy god. What the hell? Mrs. Bowles. Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up! What the hell? You need medical treatment! No! What the hell? Why? Alright. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come on. <gasps> Don't kill yourself! Remember when everyone's remember when everyone's telling you KYS? Uh, yeah, KYS. Don't do it. Don't believe him. Don't kill yourself. This is awful. How do I get you on the bed? Okay, there we go. That was a lot of blood. I'm worried that she is dead. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I. I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah, I think so. Okay, don't move. I'll be right back. People do rash things when they have a lot of pressure put on them. Don't kill yourself. Don't ever. That's awful. Like, that's not the way to go about things. You seek medical help. It's all psychological, man. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Um, medical, medical, medical. Maybe it's in the bathroom. I'm gonna go look in the bathroom again. Jesus. Honestly. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. Uh. What? Please don't turn this into the Last of Us. Uh, I can't. I'm here for you, Susan. Oh, I need more. Still bleeding. Not perfect, but it'll do. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. 
Come on. You're a mother, goddammit. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. Hey. How are you feeling? Okay. My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? You just slit your wrist. You need... You know what to do? With a baby, I mean. Oh, yeah. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> it's easy. You gotta feed her. You I gotta... Mean, Emily. Emily. Gotcha. How's my phone? If you heard that. It's a good microphone. You probably heard it. What the... F oh, okay. I thought the baby was covered in blood for a second there. Oh, that's why this is an option. Oh, okay. Because the sands did not blood in them before, not, and then they did. <laughs> Man, I should have known. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh, going by the smell, I got a pretty good idea. I'm gonna have to change a baby's diaper, aren't I? Okay, just keep the camera angle like right there where his big body's blocking it and let me see the buttons. How do you do this again? You gotta go like this and gotta go like this. And then you gotta go like that. And then you gotta go oh 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 I'm sorry. Brother, that's not the right way. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start again. Um. There you go. Fresh new baby. That's that was awkward. Right, Emily? Hmm. Hey. What's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Whenever a baby cries, there are multiple problems. Where's your bottle? I think I saw it in here. Yep. I guess I better warm this thing up. I have never seen that contraption in my life. Of course. Now I know why you're crying, my little peachy poop. Mother Shelby to the rescue. <laughs> Mother Shelby to the rescue. Hush, little baby, don't say oh, a word. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Hmm? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't choke. Uh, uh, there you go. Oh, she's getting us sleepy now. You can see her eyes drifting. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. All right. I don't want to mess up like last time. There we go. <laughs> Her arm. She's so adorable. For those of you wondering, like, why babies are always, like, you know, crying and whining and, like, all over the place and, like, like a, like a pain to deal with, mainly because they're so small. They don't, like, 
their body is not like it's tired but it doesn't have like the capacity of a, a larger body so oh she's getting up thanks for looking after my baby so like uh sleeping is a lot shorter eating is a lot faster i just couldn't cope anymore Not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. Can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe, maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and I couldn't do it anymore. Being a single parent and looking after a baby is tough. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word, and there was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. He needs battery. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's um, it's in a drawer. In the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. Do it. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But over something important but as a baby, yes. Out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. If I catch you in there with the blood coming out your whiz, I'm gonna slap you. I'm gonna give you four quick slaps on all four of your cheeks, mate. Two cheeks in your face and then two in your butt. I'm gonna give you a spank. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm weird like that. Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mama. By being a good little sleepy baby. But yeah, about being like a, a like a one parent person, it's really hard because like the baby sleep patterns are very inconsistent, so you gotta like take rest whenever they're asleep. So yeah, I should know because I had a little baby I still have a baby brother, but I don't live with him anymore. So he would yeah, like I just always like I'd be the one like caring for him sometimes. Like just like letting him like play with my controller and like while well, I play a game and stuff. He 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 is very entertained by what was going on on the screen. And I and because I have a the controller I was using back then is broken now. There's a it won't charge. It has a water damage in the the port, the charging port. I'm uh I'm gonna let him like have it like. Oh I didn't I. I just looked at the look up at the table one last time, like when he looked at it one last time. I didn't know that there's beer over there. She was drinking. That's more than six, so she was well drunk. Anyway, um, this is probably where I'm gonna leave it here, by the way. But uh, one last word before I leave. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, what was it? I'm probably gonna give it to him and like have me play behind him. As he's playing in front of, as like uh, he thinks he's playing, like I know it's mean, but like when they're so little, like it's it's entertaining to them. Anyway, um, this is starting off with Sean. No, 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 Sean, Ethan. I get them mixed up. Starting off with Ethan, the next episode. Uh, both of the streams combined make up this one episode. If any of you guys are confused, so, um, aye, aye. this is it, this is the end, and, uh, uh, hope you guys have a less tired day than me, god.
See ya.